Splatoon is an action-packed shooting game where you play as squid-like inklings that can transform into humanoid characters and mark their enemy's territory with ink. We've already announced a 4 on 4 online multiplayer mode and a single player mode. But this time we'd like to tell you about the Inkling central hub that connects all the game modes together. When you first start up the game, you'll land in this plaza area. Inklings who are sent here via Miiverse will be walking around and you can communicate with them. The tower you see right now is an important landmark. Enter the tower and you can play the online multiplayer mode with other Inklings from around the world. You may have already noticed, but each Inkling is equipped with their own weapon and outfit. Equipment can be purchased at the shopping center with in-game money you earn by playing multiplayer mode. At the shopping center, there's a weapon shop run by a militaristic crab and a headgear shop where a shy sea anemone is working as a store clerk. There's also a clothing shop and a shoe shop. You can switch equipment you've purchased at any time in the plaza. For weapons, you select a set of three at a time. Your go-to weapon of choice for dealing with the most enemies is, of course, your main weapon. You'll also have a backup sub-weapon to help create diversions or block your enemy's path. And for special occasions, you'll have a weapon that can be charged up to inflict major damage, your special weapon. Depending on your setup, you'll have to adjust your strategy. You can also modify your character's stats, such as strength and speed, by choosing the right gear for your head, clothes, and shoes. Different players will respond to different styles of custom outfits, so if you want, you can focus on your looks rather than your strategy. You can also check out other Inklings outfits and equipment in the plaza too, so it's a good place to get inspired. Try entering a battle with new clothes and equipment. You may just discover a new way to fight. Splatoon will be available in stores and on the Nintendo eShop for Wii U this May. Next we have a new trailer for Monolith Soft's next title, Xenoblade Chronicles X, that showcases various locations from around planet Mira. Please take a look. <laughs> ついこの未開の惑星ミラで生きていく決意を固めました
stay tuned for more information on Xenoblade Chronicles X in the near future. Let's get things rolling with Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. In this clever Kirby game, guiding the mighty puffball through treacherous stages isn't your only goal. There are tons of collectibles to find in every stage, including hidden treasure chests. Touch one to see what prize you get, like songs to listen to or in-game figurines. Some treasure chests are really hard to find, especially considering that you have a limited amount of ink to draw rainbow ropes with. If you run out, Kirby may find himself in a tight spot. Levels like Blue Sky Palace have no ground, so run out of ink and you'll meet an ill fate. But it's all worth it for those figurines. You can take in their glory from different angles in the figurine showcase. Hey, those kind of look like amiibo. And speaking of, there's plenty to do with amiibo in Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Once per day, you can touch select amiibo to the Wii U gamepad controller to power up Kirby. Tapping the Kirby amiibo to the gamepad will let you use his star dash whenever you want, without having to collect 100 stars like usual. Likewise, you can get a matching hat from the King DDD amiibo, plus six health bars instead of the normal four. And if you get the Meta Knight hat by using his amiibo, your Kirby's tap dash speed will increase, allowing him to plow through weaker enemies. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse will roll onto store shelves and into the Nintendo eShop for Wii U on February 20th, 2015. While we're talking about Amiibo, the release of the next wave of Super Smash Bros. Amiibo is right around the corner. Look for 11 new Amiibo to hit store shelves in February. And I've got some exciting news. We're ready to announce a whole new wave of Super Smash Bros. series Amiibo. This next wave will include Robin and Lucina from Fire Emblem, Pac-Man, Wario, Ness from Earthbound, and Charizard, you'll start to see them appear in stores this spring. But Super Smash Bros. isn't the only series that will receive Amiibo. I'm excited to announce that a new Super Mario series of Amiibo will say hello to the world on March 20th. This lineup includes Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Bowser, and, for the first time, Toad. And they'll be launching alongside a new game that will take Amiibo to the next level. Mario Party 10. You may have noticed some of these characters also appeared in the Super Smash Bros. series of Amiibo. Well, regardless which version of character you buy, they'll function exactly the same way. Check in at the address on screen as we update this list, so you can find out which Amiibo are compatible with which games. Mario Party 10 includes three different modes of Mario Party gameplay. The traditional party mode, the Bowser Party mode we introduced at E3, and a new mode called Amiibo Party. In this mode, you can touch a compatible Amiibo to the Wii U gamepad to use that Amiibo as a game piece while playing on a special board related to that character. For example, on the Mario board, you might encounter an event where you use a mushroom to suddenly grow or collect coins while defeating your rivals. On the Luigi map, you might have to suck up your rival's stars and coins using the Poltergust. Each character has a special trait, so there's a lot of fun to be had on the different boards. You can also select one token to assign to your amiibo for use while playing. Deciding which item to bring along might just be the key to your victory, so choose wisely. The game will work with nine different amiibo. Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, Yoshi, Bowser, Rosalina and Luma, Donkey Kong, and Wario. If you decide to use your Super Smash Bros. Amiibo in Mario Party 10, you will need to erase that figure's Smash Bros. Amiibo data. Mario Party 10 will be available in stores and on the Nintendo eShop for Wii U March 20th. You have to have an Amiibo to play Amiibo Party, so we'll also be offering a limited number of special bundles at select retailers, which will include the Mario Amiibo from the Super Mario series I mentioned earlier. Another game that will use one of the new Amiibo from the Super Mario series is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, which was released last year. The Toad Amiibo from the Super Mario Bros. line will be compatible with that game. When you tap the Toad Amiibo on your Wii U gamepad, Pixel Toad will appear in a stage and hide from the player, waiting to be found hide-and-seek style. An update will add this function to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker on March 20th, the same day the Toad Amiibo becomes available. At last year's E3, we announced a new game for Wii U. Its name, Mario vs. Donkey Kong Tipping Stars, is centered on an important new feature. Now there's a new way to enjoy the puzzling toy guiding touch gameplay that fans love. 
As with previous games in the series, you can create your own levels and then share them with other players online. But now you can reward the people who make your favorite levels using the all new tipping system. As you beat levels, you can earn up to three stars based on your performance. Then you can cash in those stars to earn new parts for level creation. So if you like a level someone built, tip them some stars sometime. That way, they'll be able to create even more imaginative levels using the stars you tipped them. For the first time, alongside the Wii U game, we'll also be releasing the game on Nintendo 3DS. Both of these download titles will be available for purchase directly from the Nintendo eShop, and we plan on giving anyone who buys the Wii U game a free download code for the game on Nintendo 3DS, and vice versa. So now you can play the game on your system of choice, or even share levels between versions of the game through Miiverse, which is built directly into the game. Mario vs. Donkey Kong Tipping Stars is available exclusively through the Nintendo eShop on Wii U and Nintendo 3DS March 5th. Now, here's a quick look at some great games coming to Wii U and Nintendo 3DS from some of our development partners. Wii U 専用タイトルとして新しいプロジェクトを立ち上げました4人で協力しながらさまざまな世界観のマップを攻略していくアクションゲームです罠を解除しながら罠を解除しながら敵を蹴散らして、えー、お宝を強奪してくるお宝を強奪してくるというのが基本的なゲームルールになりますゲーム自体は基本的に無料で、えー、制限なく遊ぶことができます WiiU がインターネットにつながっていれば誰でもプレイすることが可能ですタイトル名や発売日などはお伝えできませんが仮称プロジェクトトレジャーという名前で絶賛開発中です是非楽しみに待っててください